drop caps. I'm going to use a drop cap on this one. And um, what I want to do is develop a drop cap here. So I'll go to the text. And in this area, what I want to do is just grab that area of text. I'll triple click. And I want to remove, I don't like the three. Uh, I'll remove the M and make that a drop cap. So I like doing it this way. And uh, basically, I'm going to insert a text box with M in the text box. And then I'm going to take and get that text to be a lot bigger. Under right here, I can use the wheel mouse to wheel mouse up and choose any value. And then I'm going to take and make this maybe any other text I want. Uh, there we go. Looks more interesting that way. Then I'll shrink this text box up. Oops. Now, if I want to just like take this M and make it into something else, I can. I can go right click and I can say convert to outlines. So now it's a graphic. Now you'll never be able to change the M into an M or a different letter. And if I right click on it, oh no, go to properties, sorry. So double click on it and go to shape, I can say now use contour line. And you can see everything wraps around it. And if I edit the contour line, I can now push these things, let's say like that. So in some, in some fonts, you're going to have a lot more contour lines. And you can get rid of these. We can minus them if we wanted to. Let's say there's just too many here and it's just hard to concentrate on them all. So we're going to have to re-click on the M. And now here's the rub of that. So trying to get a hold of the M in this menu is hard. So you got to go out of it, go to shape, go to edit, and then edit. You can use zoom and control. So with the wheel mouse, control, wheel mouse. and go edit contour line. So now you have a lot of control here. So depending on what font you use, it's going to be rather hard to do that, right? Because see how many lines I got. But using the example of the cat, you can do much the same thing. You can say, well, you know, I got this letter here. I could throw that on a layer if I wanted to. Throw it underneath my text. Put it on that layer by going edit copy or edit cut and edit paste. There we go. And now in my text box, in the text world, I could just insert a new text box. And I can wrap the text around it. And if I want May to blend into each other, see how A and May, well, on the text box, or text box itself, I can go shape, edit, and then edit contour line. 
and I can go like this and kind of bend it in. Just like that. And editing. And now on the shape, I can say use contour line and see how it kind of blends that way. So again, always get a five in mind. This is what it really looks like. This is what it looks like when it prints. And you have a lot of power to say the, the text to wrap around that a little bit easier than you would by just making a drop cap. All right, so that's how make a very professional drop cap in Scribus. Enjoy.